Hello! Welcome back to Lou's Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. This is part 5. I'm your host, PhoenixFire76, aka Lou. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna head right on into this little patch of desert here. Um, uh, quicksand, or sinky sad. Um, <laughs> I wonder if people know what that's from. I just saw that episode of whatever that's from. Um, so yeah, you can fly with the little turtle shell here, Koopa shell. And, whoa, that was close. Wait for the sun, wait for the sun, boom. Oh, whoa! Did everyone see that? Seriously. The sun went right through him. Well, we're, we're gonna pay him back for that. Don't you worry, viewers. What? Alright, forget it. Forget it, that's weird, I've done that. Yeah, see, he likes to throw off your rhythm and stop you from getting a star man there. Uh, that's why you're supposed to kill him with that turtle shell, the Koopa shell. That was weird. That went through him twice. Whatever. Into the mushroom house. Um, yeah, incidentally, if you didn't see that in um, level 1-4, uh, I think it was, um, you can, if you hit a turtle shell against a wall or a block or, you know, some object where it's going to rebound, if you hit it right against you, uh, you know, right against that wall and you're standing right close next to it, it actually won't damage you. Uh, I think everybody knows that, but you can kind of exploit that, um, like I did in, you know, World 1-4. Um, you know, just a little, another nifty little trick, so. Alright, so here what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clear these out. Nice little, oh, yeah, this was a, I guess this is supposed to be a secret area. Um, cause there are very few enemies and it's kind of hidden. You wouldn't know it was there unless you were looking for it type of thing. Uh, but yeah, so here we go, here's a nice little switch here. I could get those other coins, but I don't want to tempt fate with that cheap cheap. And if I can ever get out of the water, I want to show you something cool. Oh, I didn't make it. But, um, yeah, th that whole line of blocks there, um, would become a line of coins, obviously. You don't get them as coins, but you do that. And it looks cool to do that, like, to coins, rather than blocks. You always miss the one. Um, if you go a little slower, you can hit them all, but, eh, I don't like to go slow. Knock these guys out. And, uh, yeah, here's another little section here. We're gonna be very careful not to hit any of those coins, because you get a little switch. And, um... You know, I have the raccoon's tail, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, I can get all of them without, um, you know, having to worry about getting up here. But if you didn't have a raccoon's tail, if you lost it to that cheap cheap or the Koopa Troopas, um, that's the way to easily get. Wow! Well, that last note block has a, another leaf in it. Um, but yeah, that's how you would get them all. Watch out for these guys, they mean business. I always, you know, it's weird. I know they're called Boomerang Brothers, and I don't know, maybe people have thought this too. There we go. You try to, try to sneak me, um, sneak up on me there. Uh, yeah, but I always thought they were throwing tube socks. I mean, isn't that weird? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Am I the only one? Did anyone else think that? I mean, it, they look, they look like it. So, here's our actual. Oh boy! Wow! Yikes! <laughs> um, yeah, first encounter with a, an actual hammer brother, boomerang brother. Really, we get the, um, the music box there. The another pointless item. Uh, we'll show you what that's for eventually. I don't want to do it now, because then I, I'll, well, I will, yeah. There's a power up in there, but no, we are not messing with those guys. Chain Chomps, bad news. I don't think Chain Chomps were ever as bad as they were in this game. They are nasty. They sort of hone in on you, but it's such a random pattern that you can try and guess, and you always guess wrong. I mean, you know, at least I do. <laughs> so I learned not to bother with them. It was, you know, easy way to take out two Koopas at once. Uh, here we go. Oh yeah, incidentally... Little, little vine here. Yeah, incidentally, if you didn't know, um, if you only um, take out, you know, if you, you turn a Koopa into a shell, but don't do anything with the shell, um, or if you just kick it away and it, uh, kick it away, you know, off screen, um, those um, Koopa Troopas will respawn. Um, but if you hit another enemy, if you hold them up against a wall and like, uh, you know, f you know, spike them against the wall, so to speak, um, I can't get this coin. What's up with that? Um, if you, like, spike them against the wall, then they really will be gone forever. It's another leaf. I missed that last coin. That's that's frustrating. Down the pipe we go. I mean, not o not only are there, pa are there, um, are there one-ups everywhere, but seriously, if you know where to look for them, there are power-ups everywhere in this game. Here we go. Yeah, well, we got the trifecta there. Um, you don't get anything special for that. You know, it's the, the Royal Sampler. <laughs> um, wow. 
how many references can we put into that show in one one game? Um, here we go. Let's try not to suck this time. Obviously, what you're supposed to do is let him throw the two, then just tail attack him, jump on him, whatever, do something like that. And here we get something. That's a hammer, in case you can't tell. I wonder what we do with that. Um, let's see here. See this little block here? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I usually like to save this, but we're going to use it here. Uh, just because I want to show off this other three. I said there were lots of references to three. I don't know why, but there are lots of references to the number three. Um, but we will go into this mushroom house. We get a nifty little item for coming in here. Yes, we know. And we get a frog suit. And why are you thinking, why are we get a frog suit? We're in the middle of the desert. Well, we are right now, but trust me, we'll need it. Um, incidentally, um, I don't know how I want to do this. But, um, yeah, that, I, I, I could show off the, uh, the fire, fire Brothers, which are there, and they are the, it's the only point in the game I think that there are Fire Brothers. I don't even think they're in World 8 in that one level. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're not, because like I said, I, um, yeah, look at my inventory. Look, one, one, two, and, 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 and one. So I, I, I'm over halfway through with my inventory. I, I'm, in, you know, no. It's a flute. I don't know if I said that or not. It's the final warp whistle. Um, watch out for these beetles here. Yeah, so we don't want it. Get the little power up there. You need to tail attack that. Actually, you don't need to. Um, now, if you if you were small Mario or um, only only Super Mario, um, what you'd have to do is um, get one of these beetles here. Uh, I meant to. Well, hopefully you saw that, but. Um, the little stars in the background here are red, and I don't know if you could see, but there was a little patch there that was actually white, um, and that's how you know where that block is. But yeah, you would have to get a beetle um, up there and have him break the blocks down. Now, this you have to be careful on, and I've already screwed it up. I don't even believe that. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, I screwed that up. Um, you're supposed to go up, and that's why I did it so carefully. I can't even believe I did that. Um, you're supposed to go up and get the ones on the top row first. Then you use this little line of blocks here to get the one up that's hidden up there. And then you can clear the rest out with the P-switch. Ah, what a fail. But I don't know. Maybe you didn't know about that one off that was hidden above there. So if I helped even... Now I'm going to need to use a beetle. If I helped even one person, uh, it'll be worth it. Don't let that happen. Now I think they've, well, now I've got to rely on this guy to help me out. And boy. Boy, oh boy. Is he trouble. I don't like him. The upside down one. Alright. And then you've got to just sort of do a duck and cover. And bounce them out. You see how those are discolored? Oh, ah! I thought I had them there. If you stand next to piranha plants, they shouldn't come back up. No, we're going to have to do the, uh, boink. We're going to have to do the fortress. The, uh, ship with small Mario. Um, yeah, you, if you saw that there, that, that's what that other block looked like, in case you missed it. Well, my inventory is really full, and I, I, I don't like doing this, but we're going to be cheap. We're going to use a little mushroom here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can't forget this. One, two, oh boy. Yeah, it, you, can, you can get the others. I don't know of the tricks to get the others. I, I don't know if there are tricks, but, well, there you have it. Like I said. Lots of fail in those. Another freaking out toad here. King's transform, terrible. Find wand, bring back. Yeah, change, whatever. Yeah, he's a spider. He actually does look a little upset. Not like that dog from before. Um, and here we go. So we got a different uh, different color ship. Now, see, now it's like Twilight. You know, so, you know, not the series. That's dumb. <laughs> um, actually, I know nothing about it. Um, no, it's, it's like nighttime here, so... It, it kind of makes a little more sense, you know, when we're done and and the um, and it's nighttime out. But I don't know what was up in that first world. So um, yeah, you can see now things are starting to get a little bit more serious. Got uh, lots of bullet bills everywhere, and that one's gonna hit me. Wow, pro skills, pro skills. Yeah, see, anytime I screw up, um, it's going to be because I'm not used to talking and playing at the same time. And anytime I do something like that, um, yeah, that's pro skills. Absolutely, you can't do that. <laughs> Actually, you can. That was incredibly lucky. That I fooled you there. You weren't expecting to find me up there. Yeah, obviously you can um, go through things, um, you know, even you can go walk on the platforms even though they're off screen. 
Um, and I think it's the ship in World 5, it might be 4. Um, you can actually go over one of the barriers completely and skip a really hard part. We'll be showing that off later. And here we have Morton Koopa Jr. And he... Wow. He looks like he's a heavyweight, but he actually isn't. Um, you know, he doesn't, like, you know, make the ground shake and stun you, um, when you, uh, when he hits the ground. So, don't have to worry too much about that. We get his wand. He's easy, too. I, I don't know what happened there. I sort of slipped, I guess. I don't know. I slipped on an icy patch. <laughs> I don't know. That's World 6. Yeah, see, now it's night, and maybe that makes a little sense, you know? You know, who knows how time passes in the Mushroom Kingdom. And another overjoyed toad. And, uh, yeah, he's back to his old self again. Yeah, it, it would have been nice if they had different dialogue for, for the kings. Um, you know, each king. But they don't. Ah, yes, greetings. You can stomp on your enemies using Goomba's shoe. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Peach. And we get, um, oh, what's this called? Jungum's Cloud? Jugman? Jungum's? Something like that. It's a cloud. Um, we'll show that off. We'll probably show that off soon. So, here we are. This is World 3. Um, this is Water World, Waterland, um, and the music here is just fantastic. So, uh, I'm going to sign off and let you listen for a couple, well, maybe a couple seconds to this music. But, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to rate, subscribe, comment, anything you'd like. Uh, give me some feedback. Hope, um, hope I'm doing a good job. Hope you're enjoying it. So, that's it for this episode of uh, Lose Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. I've been PhoenixFire76. See you all next time.